Psalm 8, verse 1 to 9. The Bible says, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth, who have displayed your splendor above the heavens. From the mouth of the infants and nursing babies, you have established strength because of your adversaries. To make every uh, to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you take thought of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than God, and you crowned him with glory and majesty. You have you make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the, of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the path of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. Blessed Father, we pray that you may speak to us. In the few minutes for your glory and for the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, we are created, man is created to rule and to influence. Tell your neighbor that. Man is created to rule and to influence. Have you, did you tell your neighbor? Man is created to, to rule and to influence. God created man to rule over the earth and all creations on his behalf. So you are created to rule. The first mandate that God gives uh, to Adam, when Adam is created, God created every other thing and then he brought them to Adam. In the Bible says Adam gave them names. So whatever you call elephant became elephant. Whatever you call cow became cow. Whatever you call a donkey became a donkey. Whatever you call a snake became a snake. And according to the speaking of Adam, everything is called. Before Adam could name them, he studied them. He looked at it and said, You are a donkey. Or you are. Remember, when God, when uh, God finally makes a woman and brings, brings her to Adam, and now Adam looks at her and says, uh, this one is now looking like me. You are the bone of my bones and the, and the flesh of my flesh. You shall be called woman. And she became woman, the man with the womb. So man was created to dominate. Man was created for dominion. We have been given, given authority to dominate every sector of life. That is to be there, Mungu na Mamlaka, utawala kila sehemu ya dunia, ama kila sehemu ya maisha. Every sector of life, God has given us that authority. When you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 29, you see God created man in his image. In the image of him, he created male and female. And then what did he say? Rule over the earth. He says, uh, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule. Let them dominate. Let them influence. Let them affect. Let them develop the earth. That was the mandate that God gave man to rule over the creation, to rule over the se every sector of life, to rule over everything. See what he says. God said that he ruled the fish of the sea, that is the aquatic life, the land, the, the, the waters. And then he says, rule over the parts of the sky, that is the space, air. Rule over the air. Rule over the, the over the cattle. That is rule animal kingdom. And then God tells him, rule over all the earth. That is animal kingdom or land. I heard somebody say, yeah, they broke our 
And if you want, another one said, if you want to be, then see, see me, I will see you. <laughs> God tells him, over every living thing that creeps on the earth, animal, animal people. So, God has given man to rule over every sphere of life. Man was given the mandate to rule over every sphere of life. There are different things that bring dominion. For you to dominate or for you to, to, to rule, there are things that you need to do to be able to rule. And one of the things that make us rule is education or knowledge. Another that makes us rule is money. Another that makes us rule is uh, 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 understanding relationship. There are certain things that make us 